Hello there everybody and welcome to another 5 minute react, this time for Doctor Who Series 10 Episode 7, Pyramids at the End of the World, written by Stephen Moffat and Peter Bennett. Now Pyramids at the End of the World is part 2 of a 3 part story, with the first part being, being extremists uh, last week and the and part three being next week's episode, which I think is called Lie of the Land. I'm not sure. If I've just gone to my YouTube here, gone to the Doctor Who YouTube channel, I think they've already put up a... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The Lie of the Land next week. But anyway, but we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about Pyramid at the End of the World. So we have five minute react, five minutes starting now. Okay, so this episode was very interesting. Um, uh, like a lot of two-part Doctor Who stories, um, um, it starts at a slightly different point to where last week's uh, episode finished. Now, obviously, that was going to happen, because at the end of last week, uh, we revealed that the entirety of that episode had been a complete and total simulation. Um, and so, yeah, so that kind of accounts for that. Uh, here, once again, we have Bill um, trying to uh, be on her date with Penny and being interrupted. Did uh, not by the Pope this time, but instead by the Secretary General to the United Nations. I liked, I liked the return to Turmesistan. Um, it was nice to see that, um, to see that place uh, back again. Again, um, uh, as you know, um, uh, Turmesistan was used in Series Nine. Uh, during the Zygon invasion, uh, invasion and the Zygon inversion, um, um, and it was nice to see the uh, see some militaries from different countries. We had the Americans, the Russians, and the Chinese. So very nice, um, very nice to see some people that were not British uh, appearing on the show for once. Uh, we did have the mention of Unit, but they weren't involved. Which I find interesting because I, I would have thought that um, that unit would have been involved, involved personally. So, so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm really not sure what I'm thinking here. Um, I also liked the uh, reference to Donald Trump there um, in that scene where Bill says. Where Bill says, um, "I don't know the president. I'm, um, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah." Um, she says that uh, she says that uh, she wouldn't have voted for him. He's orange. So I like that. There weren't. I didn't really have anything too negative to say about this episode. I think it's very because it's like I said last week. I can't really talk about the story as a whole because it hasn't finished yet. You know. This is a three-part story, and I can't really go into depth about the actual story because, you know, I can't really point out, oh, this is a plot hole, oh, this is a problem, because it might be resolved in the next part. You never know. I, um, I must admit that I did find that whole thing with the lab very confusing. You know, it was a very nice way to build up to it, um, in the sense so that we knew that some, that in some way, it was going to be important. It did kind of eventually set up the idea, uh, the idea that, uh, dear, that he's probably put the wrong chemicals in or whatever it was. But it took me. It didn't. It wasn't really until it was blurted out until I, I until they, they realised that they were looking for something. There was ah, oh, that's what the lab is for, and. So I think, I don't know, I'm kind of in two minds about it because in one way I found it confusing because for the first half of the episode it keeps cutting into this lab thing and I'm like, what the fuck is this about? But I guess on the other hand though, that's kind of how the writers probably wanted it to be. They probably wanted us to see this lab and sort of not know what's going on and sort of be confused and have it all revealed at the end. And I guess that's probably how they wanted it to be, so... I, I guess it's not a bad thing. I'm, I, I personally don't like being confused like that between jumping scenarios um, uh, in a television show, but there are some people out there who probably quite like that. That, you know, having this sense of mystery. I, I, I'm not really a big fan of that sort of jumping between alternative plot lines uh, idea, but you never know. The only thing that I will say disappoints me a little bit is the next time trailer. 
because clearly we saw Nardo collapse on the floor and Nardo is shown in the next time trailer so we know that he's going to be all right. right. Uh, the only other thing though that I do want to say is that in the series trailer we saw that shot of uh, Peter Capaldi regenerating and he and I if and unless I'm mistaken the costume that he's I mean his costume seems to change every episode this series and the costume that he's wearing in the lie of the land looks to me exactly the same as the one from that trailer so I wonder what's going on hmm We'll soon find out in another week's time, I'm sure. Well, a week at the time of recording this. Probably not a week by the time I actually get round to uploading this video, because let's face it, I'm lazy. See? And in two, one, time's up. So, I must admit, I didn't have too much to say on this episode, mainly because it's that, it's because we're at that midpoint, really, between a three-part story and... The middle part is in, is, is, is it's 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 too early to say you know it's too late to talk about the setup because we dealt with that last week, but it's too early to talk about the conclusion because the story hasn't finished yet. So we're kind of in that midpoint. We're not sure exactly what's going to happen next, but we'll see. Okay, we 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 shall see. But that's it for now, guys, and I shall see you guys next time on 5 Minute React, where we will talk about the lie of the land and the conclusion to this three-part story. So that's it for... Oh, and Missy is back next week. Yes! I love Missy. That's it for now, guys. I shall see you next time. Bye.